there viewers and welcome back to the self made auto channel working on that 09 dodge avenger it's got the big 24 in it the money lights on has two codes stored in it po 700 indicating that there's a problem in the transmission control module and that's requesting the money light on and then we also have this p2441 air pump switch valve stuck closed it says now i was kind of giving this thing a little gander i did not even know that chrysler had air injection reactors on them because you don't see them that often but the, the air pump lives let me show you what i've discovered it's a pretty simple system way less complicated than general motors uh so our air pump is down here you can't see much of it but it's the big round black canister down here so there's that that is the air pump um can't believe i've never noticed these before and then I'll move this out of our way and hopefully i'm not missing any of the components here i'm just kind of giving it a gander this is the fresh air hose that goes to it so that comes up and hooks to you know the clean air side of the air filter and then the cool part is is it has a little mass airflow sensor on it a little i think it's a four wire i don't know how many wires on it can't see it down there uh, but it has a mass airflow and that's how it tests its components which aren't many to tell if it's flowing move my light so the fresh air goes down in through the pump and then the air is pressurized out into this hose here which comes around I have a problem with lighting today and it hooks right here to the back side you know to the to the compressed air side of the air pump comes over to a straight up mechanical check valve and then of course is hooked to exhaust manifold or header something back there where it's distributed into the exhaust system to kind of speed up the catalyst process uh let me show you what's going on you'll have to pardon me a little bit today i am sick as a banshee woke up fine got to work started getting a little bit sore a little bit achy and then it started blowing out both ends and i'm not doing good and i want to go home but i want to share this with you because that's the kind of dedication we have so let me uh tune this down here a little bit so we can see i'm gonna back out of here and what we're gonna do is uh because of the code well the code definition anyways <clears throat> whatever that was air pump switch valve stuck closed the only valve on the system is the mechanical valve right here the back uh the check valve to keep the exhaust gases from going back through the system and burning everything up <laughs> uh, i assume we could look at service data but i assume that it uses the mass airflow to check functionality of this valve you know if this valve's not flowing there's not going to be any you know air being pulled through the mass airflow just be you know deadheaded so we're going to go with that we're going to go to active test and all we want to do is make sure that the pump works <clears throat> so we're going to go to uh, secondary air pump control state yes we want some data stream and we want hopefully the secondary mass airflow here and we will find that don't let me skip past it here folks holler if you see it so oops what was that whoa whoa fella <laughs> speed oh there we go secondary mass airflow sensor and then the volts and that is it and we will hit okay all right f1 toggle on f2 off f3 toggle okay so here we are there's our voltage so let's see hopefully you guys can see i got you kind of in a wonky position so we're going to turn it on now we should see with mass eyes soon the voltage will increase with airflow so we'll turn it on And we see no change in voltage. I don't know if this data pit here is correct, kilograms per hour. And I can't change the scale on that. So, let me shut it off. <laughs> you done vacuum in the room, Ethel? <laughs> Something will vacuum. What we'll do is we'll unhook it off this valve, assuming that we can. Come on go these things are super delicate you got to push down on the ears now 
we can kick that little guy on. And we should see a change in voltage. Oh, she's blowing now. And you can see the voltage is up almost four volts. Plug it back off like it was. About one volt. It'll let a little bit of air flow through it. All right. So that is turned off on its own. Must be as a timer. Uh, part of me wants, part of the inner Ivan in me wants to just take this valve off and tear it apart. Why don't we just give it a little bit of a tap? Because at this point we know that this check valve is junk. Let me get a hammer. Of course, if it pops open and stays open, then we're really screwed. Let's see. Hey, look at that. How <laughs> she's flowing. So 3.77 volts. Oops. Turn it back off here. Oops. Crap. Ah. I'm always hitting the wrong freaking buttons, folks. I should not even be here today. What we have to do now is we got we should actually start up the car and make sure that it's uh, not stuck open. Let's kick it back on here. Can you guys see? Good. Yep, and it's actually open and working now, 3.8 volts. But like I say, we gotta start the car up because if that thing is stuck open, it's gonna burn up every bit of hose and air pump and everything. If I can get this thing up and done again. Come on, you little sucker, you came off there easier the first go around. hear the change in tone now it's not so we best just not metal with it leave it stuck shut call it a day get a new part all right folks that's it I guess it is important to say that if you are fiddling around with it and you get it to pop open make sure the thing goes back closed that could be really bad it'll burn up the plastic hose could potentially ruin the air pump so you want to take care of that. Obviously this car is going to get a new valve uh, to fix it. So I'll get that coming. The code stored in the transmission module is for low voltage, low battery voltage. And it has that code stored in about every other module also. Car has the original battery and she has had to jump start it a couple times. So I'm just going to check out the charging system, which I assume is fine. And then replace the battery, which is what, 10 years old. That's pretty dang good. Um, anyhow. That's it. I got to get going. Not feeling good. Go down, click subscribe, ring the bell, all that business. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.